What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Going over some updates regarding Horror Hound and the chance of a screening occurring there. Uh, I got a email response back from Horror Hound yesterday. This was in, in response to an email I sent back in, back in May. So I was shocked to see that I got a response to this. When I was asking about if a screening for Jeepers Creepers 4 would be happening at the September convention, which is coming up rather soon. Like in the next week or two, there's a horror hound event occurring in Cincinnati or some location, I might be mistaken, but it's coming very early on in September before this Fathom event screening happens on the 19th, 20th, and the 21st. Now, horror hound support responded saying it doesn't look like we'll be getting a screener, but we're supposed to get some exclusive trailers, bumpers to play during the event, also, an interview is planned with the director, in this case, we know that's Timo, which will play at the Horror Hound Rewind virtual event. Now, I know basically from what I've said to a lot of you, that probably doesn't sound very interesting in regards to, of course, yay, another interview from Timo. What they essentially did all the way through a lot of marketing early on when this was starting to seem like it was going to have somewhat of a marketing run, they took a very, I would assume, long interview that went on with Timo and chopped it into these one minute things that they kept releasing online on this official social media account official youtube channel and it's like bro this is clearly from the same interview so why are you why are you stretching out this interview <laughs> that seems to be longer than five minutes by chopping it into minute minute intervals and releasing them online something related to the pandemic was released something related to um uh, Timo and his approach to the movie was released but it clearly was all from the same interview and I didn't understand that technique or why they did that I know a lot of people were getting tired of them doing those one minute interviews too but the fact that they're saying the only thing that they're getting at Horror Hound is going to be a another interview with the director at the Horror Hound Rewind virtual event they're not going to have any screening of the movie take place at this event in September that's interesting because it seems like you know if you want to have a trilogy like they've already made clear they they have plans or they want to let this be the start of a new trilogy why is everything that can possibly help marketing being undermined or something that would of course draw in a lot of buzz being cut short why are you not having a screening take place at whorehound which is in partnership with the production because we also know that they were supposed to have part of the movie shot at a real event before everything transpired in 2020 forcing them to shoot they're saying this is what forced them to shoot uh in another country in another location so with that in mind versus again horror hound being partnered with it why would you not want to show your movie at the at the upcoming event i'll get into that in a second this reminds me of jeepers creepers 3 and the rumors that started coming out about controversy and a feud going on between Victor Salva and the producers of Jeepers Creepers 3. Because for those of you who might remember this, there is a world premiere that that movie was supposed to have in September 2017. But then that got canceled due to protesting. But then it was also rumored. Now, then this is just a rumor. It, it was rumored that there was more to it than that. That the producers were actively trying to undermine this world premiere event. They didn't want it to even be referred to as a world premiere. They wanted this to kind of like not be like they were telling the organizers. This is coming. This is according to Horror Freak News, but I don't even think they're around anymore. They were apparently telling organizers that they could not promote this event as the world premiere since they did not want it to distract from the September 26th nationwide premiere. But again, why would you do that if a, if you want your movie to be successful coming out of jeepers creepers 3 and what we know and who was involved it makes sense why they would want to do that considering how far they had already gotten with salva a lot of stuff was giving them bad pr for being associated with him and they did not want to help him propel his name any further and also have their names attached to it by promoting anything related to this world premiere that ultimately got canceled due to fan backlash um, and they were they were completely happy with just letting this drop 
in this Fathom event that we know Jeepers Creepers 3 got. And then that was it as far as like Jeepers Creepers 3. That again is a rumor. It was never proven that there was a feud going on between Salva and the producers. But they were trying to undermine a lot of stuff that would have helped market this movie. The, the rumor even further stated that they were trying to block a worldwide distribution deal with Lionsgate. That would have pushed the movie into 2018 instead of the 2017 release that we know it had got. So with Jeepers Creepers 4, I'm like, are they trying to sabotage the release of Jeepers Creepers 4 too? Those producers involved with this movie? Because a lot of them were from Jeepers Creepers 3, but it can't be that. Because they have a theatrical release, a set of three days coming up. It can't be the lawsuit either. You know, if you show this at Whorehound, the event that's in partner with you, if they get a screening of it to show to people in attendance, that would only cause a positive word of mouth and get people talking about it. Of course, assuming this movie is good. With this move here, I don't think it has anything to do with them necessarily trying to undermine uh, the production itself or trying to, you know, not get any attention because of that lawsuit. They're, they're already going to get attention going off of them putting this in theaters. That alone would draw more attention to the lawsuit. So for them to not show it at Horror Hound out of fear that it would draw attention to this lawsuit, that's very minuscule to how a theatrical at least could draw more attention to the lawsuit i think that this is a sign that they have no confidence in this product that's about to be released here's the thing here's what's more logical if they put this out at a screening for people in attendance at horror hound to see and it's crapped on that could jeopardize any ticket sales that are already out there for this fathom event for jeepers creepers reborn they're trying to collect as much as they can from this Fathom event. So why would you put that at jeopardy when you know your product is about to be probably panned into smithereens? Uh, why jeopardize that by showing it early at Whorehound so that people in attendance can talk trash about it, post reviews about it, and then this Fathom event, people who bought, they take, bought their tickets probably cancel it and decide they're not going to go out and see it. You know, jeopardize any success that can come from that Fathom event. I think this is all telling that Jeepers Creepers 4 is going to be trash, but we'll see. If you haven't already, of course, let me know. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications in this video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you like me to cover in the future. So with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.